Mr. Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel podcast episode 1688, Data Explorer, like the clip art pane for data. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jell and today we want to talk about Data Explorer. This is a brand new uh, free download if you have Excel 2010 or Excel 2013, uh, just published here April 11th, Data Explorer. Uh, is I've used this a few times. It is amazingly cool. Here's how you think about Data Explorer. You know, you have insert clip art and you can search for clip art. Imagine if you could do the same thing for data. That's what Data Explorer is. So we come out here, Data Explorer. Let's say I had uh, sales by US state and I want to come up with uh, population by state so I can calculate per capita. So I click on online search, get a task pane on the right hand side, and we'll say population by state. Press enter, they'll go out, look at that, 250 results, and it has live preview, so I just hover, I don't even click, uh, hover on the right-hand side, and I see the data on the left-hand side, so this has state, and then this weird column, population with, you know, inhabitants per square mile, no, that's not what I want, then we have Mexico, Brazil, Brazil, Mexican, I should have said U.S. states, uh, here we go, the sixth one, states and territory, uh, the third column is state, and then fourth, fifth, and sixth column are population, that's perfect, so I click, and that builds a query that goes out and gets that table from the web page. This particular one is coming from Wikipedia. All right, now there's extra columns, columns that I don't need, but I'm not going to just delete those in Excel. I'm going to use the filter and shape icon and using filter and shape, I'm going to change the query here, right? So when I do things in filter and shape, uh, it's actually remembered in the query. So I don't need this column here. I'm going to right click on the heading and say hide. Right click on the heading and say hide. Now I realize this would have been faster in Excel because I could have deleted all the columns at once and maybe that will come along in a um, later release of this. You know, it's still in beta basically, it's in the preview stage. Uh, so hide these columns. There's also as I scroll down through this data, um, some bizarre things. There's some uh, territories here that uh, just have a dash, and then the 50 states, 50 states plus DC, total US territory. All right, so they have the auto filter drop down. So I can say if anything doesn't have a number, I don't want it, click OK. And then over here in states and territories, I can get rid of 50 states plus DC, get rid of how silly, the 50 states, and then was it? grand total. Well, actually, no, we got rid of the total by getting rid of the, the dashes. All right, so those things I just did, hiding columns and then getting rid of some rows. Look over here on the right-hand side, there's a steps panel that I can expand. All right, and so we got the data from the source, we hit some columns, and up here in the format bar, you can even see uh, which columns I hid. So it's, it's like a macro recorder almost for data. All right, and you could you could change this, or you can click this little uh, uh, query icon here and see the whole query that you wrote based on just doing these clicks. All right, so we'll click done here. Uh, my data changes. Um, it should be uh, a table. Yep, there we go with the table formatting. But here's the amazing thing. So I did all of these steps. Wait, wait. There's one more. Uh, state or territory and population estimate. Those are those are horrible headings. So let's come in here. I'll right click and I'll rename. We'll just call this state. And right click and rename, and we'll call it population. All right. Click done. So now it even looks cleaner. Um, is that really spaces before? Uh, no, it's they're using it in indent. So if I, um, you know, I'm just gonna, it's fine. My VLOOKUPs will work with that indent, although it annoys me a little bit, but whatever. Um, okay, so we have our query, right? Let's say that this was data that changed every week or every day or every month. Uh, when I come back here to query and click refresh, it's not going to just go to the web page and pull the data in, it's going to go out, pull the data in hide those columns, get rid of the rows that I got rid of, um, you know, using the rules where we get rid of the dash and then get rid of the 50 states uh, and total and so on. This is an amazing, amazing tool. It's called Data Explorer. It's free. You need Excel 2010 or newer. I'll take a look at some other Data Explorer tricks this week. 
All right, there we go. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by. See you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.